All right, I am here at Canoe Country Outfitters with uh, my uncle Bob Olson right here. Hi. And he is going to tell us a little bit about the operations of uh, this facility and what services they provide. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Bob Olson, Jr., I guess. And uh, it's Canoe Country Outfitters in Ely, Minnesota. Uh, business started by Bill Rahm in 1946, and which was a long time ago now, but... Uh, uh, we do canoe trips into the Boundary Waters Quetico Park, and uh, we have uh, canoe trip information. We can set you up a full canoe trip, food, canoes, all of the camping equipment, or just whatever part of it you need. We also have another base on Moose Lake, which is uh, 20 miles east of here. We have some cabins, campground, RV sites, tent sites, uh, towboat service out of there. So we can set you up some boat and motor trips or just stay in the cabin and go out for the day. Uh, basically that covers a good chunk of what we have available. Uh, through the years things have changed. There was flying service which is no longer there anymore. Uh, due to various border deals. And, but I've uh, been doing it for a long time. I'm 69 right now. I've been working here since I was 13. And, uh, the only thing I know how to do is three years with Uncle Sam. Excellent. So what what uh what are the uh, hours of operation for the year? Like when does the season start and end? Yeah, we pretty much around fishing season, which uh, this year was May 14th. Uh, we do have a few people that come up prior to that. As long as the ice is out, um, they'll start coming into town. Uh, some people don't fish, they just want to get out there as soon as they can. Of course, rivers will open up for the lakes. But uh, um, anyway, from there till we're here into October. And uh, once you get beyond October, it's, I wouldn't recommend it anymore. <laughs> Even October can get a little hairy when lakes start to freeze up. So predominantly, it's uh, Memorial Weekend. It would be kind of the start of uh, when it starts getting busy. And uh, through the Labor Day weekend is the bulk of the traffic uh, okay. after and before you get, uh, uh, you know, anybody with kids is having a hard time to come up in the early or late season. But uh, we do have people that still do. Oh. That's about it. Excellent. Thank you. Sure. Okay, so uh, Bob is going to do a walkthrough of the facility that we are currently in. Obviously, we are not at the Moose Lake facility and we're not going to be going there. Uh, but you can also look them up online and I will be putting their information down in the description. So we're going to go check this place out. From the retail end of it to where we keep the equipment, at least some of it here. We're packing up for trips. We have another building where we do food supplies, but uh, this is gear and things. Mm. Paddles, tents, caps, sleeping bags, rest. So, what is the story behind this birch bark here? Is it how long has this thing been here? A hundred percent, but it was here when I was thirteen, and uh, that was like fifty-six years ago. But I believe uh, Bill Rahm, when he started the business in 1946, he commissioned within the few years after that. So, probably in the later 40s. Uh, it was made, as far as I understand, by an Indian gal uh, from somewhere in north, mid-central or north-central Minnesota. I don't know okay. who it was, but it was a woman, from what I understand, that made that, that canoe. Oh, interesting. And uh, probably it was in the 70s somewhere, uh, another gal came in, she was looking at it, and she says, my mother made that canoe. It's something in how it was made out, they probably have their own little design things in it that uh, she, and she may have known that it was maybe here, but uh, pretty brittle, but uh, we just put it in the 4th of July parade uh, back when I was younger starting here. It weighed about the same as a standard weight drum, about 75 pounds, and that is about a 17 footer also. That uh, needs to be re- the seams need to be re-pitched, and uh, there is a big crack on the other end where somebody will lift them out and mm. snap the fork and hit the cement. Yeah. Well, that's but, cool. I've always wanted to know about the history of that. I mean, I've seen that ever since I was a little kid, and I've always wanted to ask. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that.
All right, so this is the canoe yard. This is where they keep uh, the aluminum and light whites. Yeah, you've got aluminum, there's different brands, the Source River, made up in Atacoke. We've got um, up over there. Over here we've got North Wind and some of the North, North Star, but North Wind is the model. And uh, some Source River that we see that. Keep a lot of the canoes out here in Moose Lake Basin. That's the biggest entry point is the quality water. So. Okay. Uh, we do have some three houses that we own. We put people up in. Six units and about five just basic hotel rooms. Above or out there, there's a five bed and two bed up in the apartment house. So there's a big rooms like that sometimes. Okay. Then you also have showers, jet facilities for people that might just need that instead of just accommodations too. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna go up and check out the upstairs here. This is where the showers are. All right, so we are upstairs above the actual outfitters. Right over there is where they have the five bedroom um, kind of hotel. Across over there, it was pretty windy when we were outside. They own the three bedrooms there. And then they have a place here on this side for large groups. Um, here is just shower facilities. So if you are um, renting through them and when you're coming out, if you're just heading back, out to wherever it is that you came, came from or um, have accommodation somewhere else and you just need a shower, you can also just uh, you know use the shower facilities and not have to um, do the whole um, staying in, the, in their facilities here. So here, this one is the women's. It's being cleaned right now. And here's the men's. And let's see if there's anybody in here. It's just a cleaning facility as well. So you have your changing room, and then the showers are right in there. 